wanted to explain to you the difference between your trees. You can tap any kind of maple tree. It doesn't matter what kind of maple tree it is. But the sugar maple, which that's what this is, which is our state tree, has the most sugar in the sap. So you're going to get the most syrup out of the sugar maple than you are any other kind of maple tree. In a way, you might come a little bit closer here. The way you know that this is a maple tree by the bark, see how the edges are kind of turned up on this? See this? Look here, how it's turned up. Right there. I'm not hurting that tree by taking that off, but it's kind of cupped all the way up through there like that. That's how you know that this is a, a maple tree, but then you know, <laughs> there's some other techniques to know that this is a sugar maple. The best way to tell your maples is in the summertime, mark them by the leaves. And there is a difference between the sugar maple leaf and the red maple leaf, which that's really the two main maple trees that we use in West Virginia, sugar maple and red maple. Now I showed you what a sugar maple was. Let's slowly walk down here and follow our line down to our second tree and show you what a red maple is. Now a red maple, as it gets older, it's going to start getting some bark on it. But when they're younger, they're smooth and slick. See how slick that is? But a red maple, if you can see and you can't, but it's already um, blossomed out, budded out. It is the very first tree that buds out uh, before any other tree in the woods. And that's one reason when we know that we're done. When it buds out, that's the end of the season. Because if you try to take sap from this tree after that, it will be sour. But this, this tap is still in, and this just to show you the, the process of it. All my taps are out of my 250 trees. But it's in, in this tree right here. And then I'll take that out. And then next year, I'll put the hole at a different location, about six inches away from it. And keep going around that tree. 